space. Yeah. And, um, you know, like, what is the strategy there? What would be a great plan to help them get out of grace? But whatever you kind of had planned for us today, just based on the amount of time we had, based on our request to you with some of those reports, um, the second 30 minutes of this call, Scott Peterson is going to get on and um, unpack the 16 PET and the 32 PET report for us. So I think I sent you that in an email yesterday, but whatever you had planned for us, I'm going to give you this time to take it away. And again, thanks so much for all of you joining. Take it away, Rashida. All right. Well, I didn't really have a plan. I was asking what you guys wanted to see, and you did mention a few email, uh, a few reports. So I did pull those. The tough thing about being at corporate though, is that when we pull stuff, it's test accounts. So there's not a lot of information in those test accounts. Um, and so we'll kind of do the best we can. I'll explain it, but some of it might be empty. Some of it might have information. Um, I know that uh, a couple of the reports that you guys were asking about or Sybil that you asked me to go over were the um, downline reports, the new member reports, new members in the last 30 days, um, isobody for downline, and there was another one I wanted to add to that, which was Business Blueprint. I think the Business Blueprint is a really, really good report that's out there that helps you see, it's, it's under the actions reports. So it's gonna help you see like who on your team is close to something, who's close to a rank advancement, who's close to a, you know, a, a bonus or something like that. And so um, the commission strategy, just the commission strategy title really is kind of what I always was doing, <laughs> but, it was under the sales operations because I was also handling um, other operational side things internally. So now it's just kind of a focus on commissions and a lot of the larger projects that I was telling you about have to do with future state of commissions, future reports, future ways that we're gonna be able to get data to you easier. Um, and so that's kind of the big projects that I'm a part of now. But if we go back through and I'm gonna share my screen if I can. Uh, let's see, share screen. Nope, I cannot. It says I'm disabled to share. Stephanie will get that. Accelerate report. I don't think we're gonna have time, Stephanie, to go over the accelerate report today. That's a whole nother beast. We can schedule another one for that. But. All right, can I share now? Should I try it? Yes, you can. Awesome, okay. Looks like I'm in. So, <clears throat> okay, so everybody can see my screen? Yep. All right, so as you guys know, as you go in your back office and you go to the reports tab, um, you have these four categories. Uh, leadership tab is for those who are two-star golden circle and above. So some may have it, some may not. Uh, but we're gonna today go over the first kind of three tabs, some of the more important reports under each of those. Business Blueprint is one of them. Um, I, th I think I opened that and I'll, I'll show it to you in here in a second. But again, like I said, that is going to show you, for me, this is probably one of the most critical reports that someone can have on their team because we find that when you support somebody and help them get to their next goal, it encourages them, it keeps them around, it keeps them engaged, right? And so this report, we call it <laughs> internally, we call it the low hanging fruit report. It's gonna tell you who's close, like who's one enrollment away from their, or one consultant away from their next, one or two consultants away from their next rank, potentially even a you know rank advancement bonus. Who's uh, one enrollment away from team builders? Who's close to getting a double PIB? And so you can reach out to those people and say, hey, did you know this week? And by the way, this is a dynamic, report, which means that when you click on it, it's as of today. And anytime you click on it, it's going to update as of when you clicked on it. It's not like a week behind or a day behind. It is actually a real-time dynamic report. So we're going to go over that. That to me is one of the most important reports. Um, under recognition, I mean, those are all pretty self-explanatory. I would go into the leader in action report, but it sounds like you have someone going into that maybe later in this call. So we'll skip that, but that is an important report. Very important. Did we ask stuff about the blueprint? That yep, yep, I'm gonna go over it. I'm just gonna show you what reports I'm going over here and then we're oh. gonna go over each one. Awesome. Um, and then business, we're gonna talk about the new members past 30 days, downline order. 
You mentioned the isobody downline report. I pulled it, but I don't really know how important that is in terms of the commission's strategy, uh, but we can go over it. I'm not actually, I wasn't a part of building that report. So <laughs> what's in there, I looked at it, we can go over it, but I don't know if there's any strategy behind that towards commissions, but we can discuss it. Um, and then associates and grace and that, um, that particular report is a page. So I couldn't pull that because it's a page. It's not a, like an Excel report. And so again, this is a test account that I can't really show you, but I can still go over some of the things that are in this report and why it's important. Okay, so let's go back to um, Business Blueprint. And I think I'm gonna have to do this first because it was only sharing that one screen. Where to go? <clears throat> not showing it. I might have to just share all my screens because it's not showing my blueprint. All right. Well, that is not going to work for us. So we'll go back to sharing just the, rain, the major screen here. And then I'll just flip back and forth. All right. Let me know when you can see. You can see it. Do you see the Ingrace screen again? What screen do you see? Uh, personally enrolled Grace summary. Yes, okay, good. All right, so we're gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna minimize this. All right, so we're gonna go back to Business Blueprint because that is the one we wanna touch on first. Mm, not that one. There we go. Um, again, this will be empty, unfortunately. Whenever it decides to come up. There we go. All right, can everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Now, Rashida, let me ask for any people that are on the call today that may not be two star yet. Do they have access to this? They do. Yeah. Okay. For everyone. Okay. okay for everyone. Good. Mm -hmm. That's Good. why I thank you. Where they were because that particular report is right here under action. Got it. The reports that everyone does not have are the leadership pool. I wrote or, that. Yeah. And so that's where your accelerate and weekly achievers and business performance summary. That's where all of those live. Okay. The Good to business know. blueprint is for everyone because like I said, it's like that low hanging fruit that everyone should be able to see. Okay. So when you go through here, you'll see first a summary page and it's gonna tell you pretty much all the different categories we have here um, and then what, what we're looking at in each one. So it's gonna tell you like, the first one's gonna be potential double PIB. What that's gonna show you is somebody who already has an enrollment for the week with a pack so not the 10% a la carte, right? Because you can't double those. So this is going to be an enrollment with a uh, qualifying pack. So this will show you somebody who has one already. So just needs one more in the week to get doubled. All right. And then potential five cycle bonus. This is going to tell you someone who's close to earning their um, first or their second half of their five cycle bonus. You guys know that this is for, that particular bonus is for paid as consultants who, you um, are getting the five cycles for the first time. So it's a $500 bonus. Uh, the first time they hit five cycles, it would be 250. And the second time they hit their five cycles, it would be another 250, five cycles in a commission week. So this is gonna tell you um, who's working towards their bonus, right? Who's working towards that first half or the second half of the five cycle bonus, who's close? Then Team Builders is going to tell you who is close to our Team Builders Club, which is where you can get the free products um, with two or five enrollments in the, in the month, in the calendar month. So this is going to tell you those who are close uh, to getting that, right? One or two enrollments away from getting their Team Builders. Potential Consultants, this is going to show you who's close to getting to the rank of consultant for the first time. Um, and you'll see here, this really only applies to uh, like North America and Australia, New Zealand, <clears throat> and I think actually Europe, where we have two ways to get to consultant. The original way, which is you enroll, 
obviously you're active, sorry, you're active. And then you enroll an active member on your left and your right with 100 BB. That's how you become a consultant. That's always how you become a consultant. Uh, there is a second way to become consultant. As of 2017, we added this way where we say, well, it doesn't have to just be one member on the left and one member on the right with 100. It can also be a total, as long as you have a total of 100 BB in a cumulative personally enrolled volume. So not personal volume, but personally enrolled volume. So on my left team, if I have two members and they can be preferred customers with 50 BB each in the last 30 days, that's a total of 100 in the last 30 days. And then on my right, let's say I have four members with, and again, they can be customers, they can be associates, doesn't matter. But let's say I have four with 25 each, as an example, right? That would be a total of 100. So as long as I have that total of cumulative personally enrolled volume in the last 30 days of 100 on each side, and of course I'm active, then that also gets me to the rank of consultant. So we broke out the categories to show you know, who's close and how they're close. Like, are they close the original way or are they close based on this volume? Then it'll show you who's close to manager, uh, five, who's close to, who's close to, it says generation of leaders. And that's basically director and executive. Who's, who's one or two consultants away from getting to director or getting executive. It will also show you for all of these, four, five, and six, it'll show you if they are um, eligible to get their rank advancement bonus or if their date has passed. Uh, some of the other things are members who are due for renewal, not super important, but those first six are really, really important. Um, for an executive, these next couple are going to help you understand if you, well, eight is going to show you how many matches you might make. So how many of your consultants are cycling and what executive match you might get paid on that for the week. It's an estimate though, but it helps to understand that. And then lifestyle rewards, it just helps to understand for everyone who in your downline is like what BV is coming from auto ships and then what BV you can expect in the next week that we see in your business that's coming from auto ships. So those last three are not super actionable. They're more informational. But the first six categories are gonna be super uh, helpful for you to help you reach out to those members. So. As I stated, this information is empty right now because this is a test account. Um, I was trying to see if I could pull one um, and it just and it never came back. So I'll kind of go over, I guess, the column headers here. Um, and then if you guys have questions, just let me know. So the potential double PIB payout. So you would see the country the member's from, you would see the state, you would see their member ID, you would see their name, you would see what PET, PET level they are from you, you would see the potential amount that would double. So this would say, let's say I enrolled Sybil and it'd give her her name, her ID. Maybe she's my personally enrolled, so it would be level one because I enrolled her, right? And then the potential amount um, <clears throat> would be based on her first and the first enrollment. Right. So if she enrolled somebody with a, if Sybil enrolled somebody with a um, basic pack, so the $25 PIB, right, then what it would show here is that she enrolled somebody, it would show a potential amount 25 PIB. That's the amount that would be a double, will be eligible for a double. So it would basically be telling me that I should reach out to Sybil and that she needs one more enrollment and she can double that original $25 that would be showing there. So she'd get 50. Or example, if she's doing a value pack, let's say she enrolled somebody with a value pack, right? So weight loss value pack. So that, that would say 100 there, right? It would say Sybil, it would say level one because she's my level one, my person enrolled. And it would say potential amount. That's telling me she's already enrolled somebody with a $100 PIB, she has. And I want to reach out to her and say, hey, Sybil, did you know that if you enroll one more person this week, we could double that $100 and plus double whatever that second enrollment pack that you enroll, whoever that second person is, whatever that PIB is, we can double that too. So that's helping me understand that she already has one and the potential amount shows the amount that will be doubled from the first enrollment that she already has. Does that make sense? At least only for certain packs. Yeah, it's only for certain packs. Uh, pretty much all of our packs are doubled. Anything that's 25 BV or 25 PIB or more is doubled. 
So I'm not showing, uh, I'm not showing mine then, uh, like for the collagen six packs. I have people who have enrolled somebody with the collagen six pack and they're not showing in that report. Yeah, because that's the $10 PIB and that is a promotion. Normally $10 PIBs don't have um, a double and they made an exception for that one. <clears throat> and it's not showing in this report because I don't know if they're going to keep it, that that will be doubling. I think that's going to be soon. <clears throat> that's why it makes sense. So normally, <clears throat> sorry, normally only PIBs that are 25 or more double, but there was an exception made for that collagen pack. <clears throat> the six pack. The six pack. Yeah. Gotcha. Good question though, good question. Um, if, they, in, if they choose to make it permanent, then we would add it as a, as a part of this. But right now it's just, it's a, it looks like that might be going away because- Wouldn't it be a good strategy to keep it? It would be, yeah. uh, it would be. Um, but we, if I'm talking overall company strategy, that pack is lower priced than the other packs. <clears throat> Lowering, lowering the member baskets and the order baskets, which we want to try and keep at a certain level. So if I'm really talking company strategy, that pack actually lowers our baskets. Sure. Basket means right order, order BV. Because it's already yeah, reduced with six of anything. Correct. Right. Yes. Okay. Do we so have... that's why we don't necessarily want to keep that because we don't want to keep driving that, that average down. Sure. Do, we, do we have any stats yet from Australia as far as retention of people who, because I'm thinking like that's going to be such a high retention product, the collagen, no? I don't have any of that yet, no. Mm -mm. Well, I don't even know if we're looking at it yet or if we even have that yet. <clears throat> right now, we're just looking at the average people coming in on it, like new members and those types of things, but no retention information yet because it just got released. All right, so we won't know if those people actually stick around. You said, you said the collagen six pack is a $10 PIB. On our list, it's a $25 PIB. On the PIB I thought list. that was the, only the $10 PIB. No, this 25. after this, this we, we have a 25 on the six pack and $10 on the, the four. four. Yeah. Oh, the four, that's one of my, yeah, sorry. I'm mixing up the four and the six pack. Sorry, the four pack. So I'm not showing my six pack people in there in that report. Okay, you'll have to send that to me because I don't know why then why that wouldn't be showing. It should be part of the normal $25 PIB packs that show here. Now, are they getting doubled? Have you made sure that you're getting double payout on those? No, but it should show potential. It's, it yeah, no, 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 I know. I want to make sure that you're getting the payout though. Like if somebody is enrolling on that, are we confirmed that the $25 payout is actually happening? Because I... This so $25 payout and double is happening. I haven't done happening. too many okay. $10. So I'm, I don't know anyone else. I'm doing, I want to make sure the $25 is showing is being paid before I address the issue with the report. I just want to make sure that it is actually paying properly. Yeah, I think it is. Cause it's even okay. in ISA pulse. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think so. Cause I figured we'd probably be hearing complaints if it wasn't, mm -hmm. <laughs> wasn't paying properly. Just wanted to ask that. Um, if you want to send that, Stephanie, if you want to send that example over, I can look into why that's not showing. But I need, I, I would need an example so I can give it to the reports team. Okay, that, that a deal? Yes. Okay, I can't see you because I minimized your face. Oh. <laughs> so we can show that. Yes, yes, so I was nodding vigorously. I didn't know you couldn't see me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I can't see you. Okay, awesome. So, but that's the idea of that double PIB portion is to say, okay, here's somebody who just needs one more moment to get the double, okay? Your next section, um, potential five cycle bonus earners, right? So it's again, always gonna show country, state, member ID and recognition name and PET level. It's always gonna show those, those five things, four, th five things. This is gonna show their current cycles so you'll see how close they are to show like, okay, Sybil um, is on level one and she has three cycles currently this week. So I know that she just needs two more to get to this five cycle, right? Um, the green, if she's highlighted in green, it means it'll be the first time she gets the first half of the five cycle bonus. So her first 250 on that bonus, if she's highlighted in green. If she's not highlighted in green, it means that she's on her second half of it. Right, and then it'll show the enrolling sponsor of who that is, which in that example, since I enrolled her, it would be me. 
but we show, um, I believe up to 16 PET, maybe it's four. I thought we expended it 16, no, it's four. Um, and so you can see that for your four levels of PET in here. Okay, then the Team Builders Club, same idea, right? That it's two and five, right? If they enroll their first two and then their first five, or not first, but two and five in the, in the month, uh, they're then gonna be eligible for the uh, free product that they can select, right? So this is going to show you here how many enrollments are needed. So not how many they have, but how many they need to get to that next, to, to get to that level, whether it's two or five. Again, here, if they're highlighted in green, it means it's their first um, bonus or first, yeah, first bonus. I guess you could still call it that even though it's product. And then if they're not highlighted in green, it's the second. The reason why we highlight them in green is to say that for those who have a large organization and maybe have a lot of names that show up here, you may first want to reach out to those who are getting it for the first time, right? Who are, who've never got this and are getting it for the first time. You may want to know who's, who that is and you may prioritize it in that way to say, okay, I'm going to call everybody or I'm going to have their sponsors call them. But we're gonna we're gonna prioritize those who this is their first time getting it, so we can just create this big ruckus for them, right? Or you may not, but that's why we highlight it in green, is to just help you understand who's getting it for the first time when it's like a two part bonus. Okay, um, potential consultants. Again, these two sections here are what I was what I was talking about, which was the did they do it the original way with just an active member on the left and the right with 100 BV. Or are they close to that? Or are they close to it by volume needed, right? So you'll see here, I highlight it. If you have someone showing under this category, uh, it's gonna give you their last enrollment date. Um, and it's gonna tell you over here how many they have on their left and right. So it would be either, if it shows, let's say it showed one. So well, I'm just gonna keep using you as an example. That's fine. <laughs> Simple. And then um, let's say it's going to show, it'll show one on the left and zero on the right. What that would mean for me is that Sybil has already personally enrolled someone on the left and she needs somebody on her right because it would say one. The one indicates she already has somebody on the left side if I have a one there. And if the zero is on the right, then that means that she needs her next member to become a consultant is on the right. So wherever you see the zero, is where they need that new active associate. Okay, so left and right. Uh, then if you come down to accumulation of BV, that means now maybe they don't have someone with, someone with 100 on each side. Now we're gonna split out the volume. So maybe it says um, <clears throat> that, you know, she has her 100 on the left again. So it, would show actually it would show zero here and it would show that she needs 100 on the right or whatever, 50 on the right or 25 on the right to become a consultant. So in this particular example, it's gonna show you how much BV they need on whatever side to get there. I will tell you this, that the first way is still the most common way, the original way, 100 on the left, 100 on the right, still the most common way. We added these, this accumulation, I call it the accumulation rule where you can get there by adding volume to get to personally enrolled volume to get to the 100 on your left and right when we started having everyone sign up as a preferred customer first. Can I ask a question, Rashida? Yeah. Sure. So what you're saying is, is that a, a person can actually get to consultant by enrolling two people on their right with 50 BV and two people on their left with 50 BV? Correct. They can still become a consultant. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been that when we launched what's called customer first back in yeah. 2017. Yeah, two years like that, right? Two that's years. when it started was back in 2017. Hmm. Okay. I guess I always thought there was a caveat that in order for it to be a qualified enrollment, it had to be 100 BV, but this is great. No, oh. yeah, no, we, we, now in terms of, um, that's just to get you to keep you as paid as consultant. Now, once you, you know, start going up the ranks, then you need to make sure you're you're following that properly. But yeah, if you want to stay active or if the member themselves wants to stay active, they have right. to. Right. I'm yeah. just, I, I just had never thought about the uh, opportunity to, in, to create a rank advancement to consultant with, two, with 
450 BV orders. Yes, and let me, this is gonna actually probably take up all our time, but let me just give you this uh, really quick difference though with that accumulation rule. It's something that a lot of our members don't understand about this accumulation rule and it has to do with returns. Right. Okay, so in your first scenario, when you do it the original way, somebody ordered a hundred on the left, so I enrolled Sybil on my left with 100 and Stephanie on my right with 100, okay? And in that situation, when I do it the original way, um, the only way that the, the my consultant status would be affected by a return is if Sybil or Stephanie return their product. Just you two, because you two are the ones that are helping me become consultant. I see. Um, you two, if one of you guys return your 100 BV, that could affect my paid as consultant status, okay? Gotcha. Gotcha. The way it's always been. But when you come down to the accumulation rule, when we are looking at the accumulation rule where we say, oh yeah, we're just all your personally enrolled volume to help you become a consultant. What that means is any return from any of your personally enrolled, uh, personally enrolled associates on your left and right can affect your consultant status. So I'll give you an example. If I have two, like you said, let's say I have Two members on my left with 50 and two people, two members on my right with 50, right? Those, those, that's four people. And they all have 50 BV. That gets me to my 100 on my left, 100 on my right. But I'm using this accumulation rule, right? Mm -hmm. If another person, not out of those four, somebody else in my personally enrolled returns, it's going to affect my accumulation because at that point, when we're using the accumulation rule, we're looking at all your personally enrolled members on your right and your left, we're adding all that volume together to get you to be consultant. And that means, follow me, if th that means that if any other return from any of your other personally enrolled when we're using the accumulation rule can affect your paid ass status. I've gotten that question so much because people will say, well, I had two members on the left with 50 and two members on the right with 50. They didn't return the product. They didn't return anything. Why did I lose my consultant status? And I'll say it's because somebody else who was personally enrolled by you returned in that 30 day window, right? In that 30 day time period. Gotcha. And in the accumulation rule, we're looking at everything, all your personally enrolled volume, both positive and negative. I gotcha. Yeah. Well, and I think that that was such a great thing to end on. And I know that we're really pressed for time yes. for you, but thank you so much for explaining that. Um, and I know that these were really basic uh, scenarios, but again, we've got all the different ranks on this call. Um, the next 30 minutes, we are going to have um, a little bit more in-depth look at some of the more in-depth reports being the 16 and the 32. So Rashida, we will gladly let you get back to your strategizing. And we really appreciate you joining us today. Um, Sorry, sorry before Rashida goes, what, I, it froze for me. Did you guys go over? Cause I can watch the recording members needing validation. What does that one mean? I, I've, I've asked Mike that. Those are, those are more for international markets. They have to do a lot of, uh, provide a lot of information, documentation to that, to get, to become valid. Like wow. Mike, about not yeah. like, oh, you're so great. Not that kind of validation. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's, 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 I could use it. No, I, need no, no, so I need some of that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a it's a documentation validation. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so Rashida, thank you again and have a great rest of your day with, right. with uh, all the corporate fun numbers and all that fun stuff. Everyone yeah. uh, give Rashida a big round of applause for joining us on such a little tight amount of time that you yeah. have for us today. So thank you. You're welcome. Again. Listen, if you need me to come back, let's, we can schedule something and we can do it. Okay. I just couldn't do an hour today. I gotcha. We gotcha. can schedule something else. We can go into this stuff more in depth if we want other, other uh, reports that we want to go into. We can work on that and we can figure out an hour. I just okay. can't do it today. Okay. We gotcha. Thank you again. Rashida, congratulations. To, on this five, the five-star debt bonus pool, man, that thank you, important. Scott. Is it's so amazing. awesome. You like it? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that amazing. report. I put that report together. I was trying to give you everything you guys could have needed in that report. Yeah, it's the best track to run on that we've ever had. Yeah. Thank awesome. You. Good. That's great feedback. Thank you. All right, you guys, take care. Thanks Bye. again, Rashida. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Take it over, Stephanie.
Right, right. Okay. All right. The second half of our training today. So super excited. And Shauna is on. So this is super exciting. If you guys haven't met Shauna Ekstrom and Scott Peterson, please. Here they are. So excited to have you guys on here. Um, they are at the top, top, top of some of our trees. Um, <laughs> so uh, one thing I love about Scott and Shauna is they have always been so willing to help, so willing to be a part of it. I remember meeting both of them at Top Achievers and Shauna came up to me and she's like, you're Stephanie Beattie. And I'm like, yes, I am. And she's like, I know who you are. And that, you know, it was that moment that I just so needed to have that situation happen. And we keep seeing each other, of course, every convention. Now they've moved to Phoenix. And so we've been able to continue this working relationship with each other, which has been so wonderful. So Scott called me yesterday. And he's like, hey, by the way, you received a five-star cycle bonus do you want to talk about that? <laughs> like, yes, please. Uh, Cause I knew I did, but I didn't know how I didn't know from whom. And I think Annie Medina is still on. Yes. Annie Medina. Thank you so much because you were my site by cycle bonus. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Annie had 20. So Scott went through everything with me and I, I think it would just be perfect because he explained it so well. He pours over these reports and Scott, if you can help us understand the 16 and the five star or the 32 um, PET report, we'd so appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks, Stephanie. Thanks for having us on the call. I'm always happy to share, um, you know, uh, the, the, the 32 PET or the the, the five-star debt bonus pool is for five stars and above. And then of course they had the executive to four-star pool. Uh, and when the company launched that, that new promotion for, for the five stars and above, I was like, you know, I'm like up, that th up to 32 PET, that's pretty interesting, you know, because Shauna has been in the organization since 2002 or joined Isagenix in 2002. So I was like, I really want to look at this report and see how, how it works. And they max it out from on tier one. Um, I'll actually, I'll share the report. And let's see if I can share my screen. I'll, I'll share that report there. Yeah, the five-star debt bonus pool. Let me see if I can increase the size of it so you can see it all. Can you see, can you see it all the way across here? Can you guys see it? It's teeny Stephanie? tiny, but we can see it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what's really good about this report is, is, you know, I can go down and I can see, I can see people that have maybe 17 or 18 points and I can draw a line from just clicking on the Excel spreadsheet to go all the way across and see like Dana Campbell, Dana Campbell's a five-star. She's um, she's on tier three, which means she's at, at the 16th level and she's on the left leg. She enrolled three people. She had 10 points on the two PET and, uh, and then the, the personal rank advancement, she didn't have one. And that was the only category that she lacked in on getting a point in each category. And so I use this report to be able to maybe reach out and look at her, who her upline is. And, and who her upline leadership is and reach out to them because there's more, it's more likely that she'll have a relationship with them. I don't really like, I don't call people using this report that I don't know. I only called people that I did know. And I was able to see people like, you know, people that are, you know, Cindy and Michael Hedges who are, are doing extremely well in this company that maybe they were lacking something to be able to qualify for the bonus for themselves. And so, uh, so I use this report to be able to find out, you know, I, I, gosh, guys, the, the, the leader in action formula, and I, and I think you all know this, you're all builders here. The leader in action formula is gonna create tremendous momentum in this company and tremendous depth and retention in our businesses. And so, um, I'm, I just, I'm happy to answer any questions with regards to the leader in action formally. Everybody knows how to print the report, right? So you go into your back office, you go to contest and promotions, uh, go to leadership and action. Uh, let me see if I can share that. 
You know, what mm -hmm. I loved about this when we sat down and went through it, it was it was really easy to understand it, but I didn't know it was there. <laughs> um, I hadn't been watching it and I missed out on February. I had someone who was two points away and I didn't have one of my categories, which we could have made both of those things happen and been a part of it. So I was so thankful to receive that phone call because one, it's a report that you can really pay attention to. Um, the other thing about that report is it shows us whether you are looking at your 16 PET or 32, um, 16 is fine for me. Um, you can see all the different people in your organization who have some movement going on. So if they have one point in one of those categories, they're gonna show up on the report. So if you've got some people who you haven't met yet, and instead of combing the tree, which takes so many hours and days to comb the tree, here's a report to just tell you who is doing stuff in your organization, and then you can reach out. Yep, that's right. Stephanie, here it is under reports, it's under recognition. You have the leader in action 16 PET. This report, you can run all the way back through uh, May, uh, June, July, you can do it for every month. And then of course the current month. What I love about running this report is, is you, can, you can see and it shows real time who is in action, who's doing what. And if somebody's maybe doesn't have a point in the weekly active rank, you can go look at what they're doing. Maybe they just need one, maybe they just need one enrollment. And so I use that to be able to reach out and say, look, what can we do to help? Um, in the five-star debt bonus pool, if we earn $125 for for somebody who hits 20 points and somebody's just shy of 20 points, I'll say, look, you know, hey, do you know anybody on your team that you want a gift? And we'll we'll make that order. Okay, so I eat $50 or whatever it is, 40 or 50 bucks. Um, but it's it's a way that then we can invest in the team and, and help grow. You know, it's nice when when you can order down at the bottom of that leg and everybody gets that volume. So it helps the entire team. So um, anyway, so, so does any, I mean, everybody here knows the leader in action formula. Is that right? Uh, like, are you, are you, do you, yeah, we're pretty, pretty versed course. on the leader in action. Okay. You know, what's, what's so cool about it is the next, it's going to go through July, but the better we do in this, the more we show up with our teams growing because of this, I don't think it's going to end. I'm hoping that it'll continue. So that, that's what's so exciting. We can really truly benefit the whole company. They're going to recognize that this is what we're doing. We're really in action because of this. Of course, yeah. the college, it doesn't hurt anything, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just, just got off a call with Kathy and she, she is absolutely glowing. I mean, she's been on the product now for six months and uh, she just looks fabulous. Um, Anyway, I, uh, I don't know what else, Stephanie, if there's, if there's any questions with regards to the reporting, um, any questions that you want to ask with regards to how we use that report, happy to answer them. Scott, what, I was, what I'll just pitch in here is that yesterday, Stephanie and I were talking about this and um, we, were, we were surprised that it's in everybody's back office. Um, regardless of, you know, what level you are, it, you don't have to be a five-star to have a 32 PET report, even though it was made for the five-star pools, which pay you through 32 PET. So I think mm -hmm. that some people had, myself included, um, being a five-star, I realized I had access to something, but I didn't realize that maybe the four stars had access to that report also, and the one stars and so on. So whoever you are, if you're an associate or above, you can go in and look at this 16 PET and 32 PET report. And what Stephanie Beebe pointed out yesterday was, so well, this really shows the people in your organization that are indeed working. So you can really um, zero, you know, some energy on those people. So I call them the worker bees. And I always want to make sure that when I'm going to get paid for a promotion, that the worker bees that got me there also get paid. So it's a way, I think, to um, understand if, if, like you just said, they're missing a one in one of those categories, they are kind of zeroed out for the month. So you just have to really be aware of it and on top of it. And this, uh, it, this does allow us 
to make sure that they get that. So thank you again. Yeah, absolutely. We were actually surprised at how many top leaders didn't know about it, that they weren't, they didn't, didn't realize know about the commissionable dates either. What the calendar no, ended, no. you know, it's on the really 24th sad. of January. You have to make that phone call to say, oh yeah, yeah it's like, yesterday. You it's, know, it's, that's, that's heartbreaking because everybody on here, everybody, we all deserve, I mean, we're all getting paid on this, you know? So it's just, I'd like to meet everybody on the call. I know a couple of people, but who are you all? I mean, where are you from? I think we're all in your downline eventually. So, well, awesome. so. <laughs> then, I, then I need to know your name. I know. No, I know Stephanie Blackburn. Yes. It's nice to see you, Stephanie. But I mean, are you from Arizona or where is everybody? You know that we actually haven't really done that. So if everyone wants to, I mean, you know, maybe tell your name, where you're from and how long you've been in Isogenics. Um, there's, there's some that I don't know where exactly you live. I'm Heather so, Greenhall. I'm in Arizona and just over four years. Awesome. Hi, Heather. Hi. Um, we're Kemi, in Arizona. Kemi from London, UK, three years. Wow. wow. Awesome. Welcome. I mean, I'm excited. Debbie Hall and I'm in Florida and uh, 10 months. Cool. It's exciting when you're new. <laughs> I'm Heidi Fannin. I'm from Racine, Wisconsin, and six years. Wow. That's Fantastic. awesome. Hi, Heidi. That's my daughter's name. Oh, love that name. <laughs> well, I'm also in Arizona. I don't know if you guys probably know that. And 15 years. Woo. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I can't, I think I saw you when you first came in. It was exciting. We met right at, yeah, for sure. Lots we connected, time, but, we connected but, way back when it's uh, probably, well, what was it before Top Achievers? Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, Top Achievers or something. Yeah. It was fun. Well, we always see you at the, at the group. Your excitement is contagious. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you too. Okay. Who else? Didn't, I didn't meet Annie. I'm Annie Medina. I live in Gilbert, Arizona. I'm actually close to headquarters and I've been in Isagenics for over seven years. Wow. Annie, awesome. I think I think we met you at the corporate at the pickup. Uh, you guys were doing a uh, like a presentation or something there. You and Stephanie? You and Stephanie Beebe. Yeah. Yes. We've met. Yes. You looked super familiar when I saw you, but I definitely had met Shauna before. Yeah. We and have. I actually ran into Shauna at Sephora when I was getting my makeup done for a photo shoot. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I saw her. It was like at 11 in the morning. Anyway, it was years ago. But yeah. That was a fun day. Yeah. Wow. And Sybil, I know I'm your Sybil face Imor. is very... I'm from Chandler. Yeah, we, you your too? face is very familiar. I know we've met uh, probably several times. Uh, I met you guys for the first time in Banff actually okay oh uh, wasn't that a fabulous trip yeah. oh, love that yeah yeah it was great so i live in chandler arizona and i've been with isogenics um five plus like five and a half years wow wow five star in five years that's awesome man that's, five star that's is life changing it. that's you know life-changing income i got to be at a meeting we were visiting chandler or at at the headquarters when Stephanie got her millionaire status. Yeah, we were so there. Cool. Her kids and were you all there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was so cool. I have, I never got those pictures to you, but they're still in my phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beautiful family. I mean, this is this is the coolest part about this. Besides the money, and I love that part too. But it's it's the relationships and the people that you do get to know and connect with. It's awesome. You know, we can all grow together. Lisa. I'm Michelle McAlizzi and I'm in um, Phoenix, Arizona, and I became a member in December of 2019, and then I became an associate in May on May 16th of, of 19, so it's been a year and a half. Wow. Oh, fantastic. That's awesome. What's your goal in this? Oh, of course, to be a nice millionaire. You know, I want actually my collective revenue goal a year is a million, a million uh, a year, so I want to earn 84k a, a month. Wow. That's so Isagenics is my has 
I have several income streams and Isagenix has um, proved to me to be the right place to put most of my energy this year. So this year I'm really focusing on my Isagenix business. I shut down the consulting company to focus on Isagenix. Wow. Do you, do you have network marketing experience? <clears throat> you know, I was with Optavia for about a year. Um, it, it wasn't a bad product. I, it was a great company. I really uh, like the people who created Optavia as well, but I really feel that Isagenix is the right um, team environment for me. And this, the athlete piece of it, I was an elite gymnast. I trained with Bella Caroli. That, that, that idea of, um, of ath athleticism is important to me. And, wow. uh, you know, I um, also, it being a local family owned Arizona company also appeals to me a great deal. I have a, I have a, a talk show, um, a radio talk show and a consulting company. And I'm, I'm also an artist that kind of does visual journalism. So my radio show, my art connects. So I've been focusing there over the past five years. But um, as I've been adding more and more isogenics into my mix, I decided that this year it's my lead focus, which was a really huge decision for me. That's huge. Wow. Yeah. Don't you all find it surprising here in Arizona when we when I meet people that have never heard of it? I always thought if oh it's going to be so saturated. Well, it isn't. <laughs> no, actually, somebody was just asking me um, about. I posted Stephanie, your hair, fantastic. I said, look at my girlfriend Stephanie's hair, holy crapola, on my story, and she said, what product is that? So, and she's right here down the street from me. Had never had heard of Isogenics. So, you know. So we have a great market. We. We, there's no lack here. <laughs> My dad had a Schwinn dealership in the 70s. So, you wow. know, he got the last dealership in the 70s. And uh, so there's been plenty of Schwinns out in the world, but that's what put me through college. So if you have a good brand, you can build just about anything. You're right. That is so true. When so thank you for being, on, you know, for asking who we are, because that's, that's an important leadership quality. I appreciate that. Well, I sure appreciate getting to know you. Gabby's uh, Gabby's coach, the gymnast Gabby, the, the world champion, the gold medalist Gabby, we ran into her coach and we talked to them about isogenics when they just got informed sport and something happened. I don't know what, we what happened, but we didn't do the clothes very good. No, we were you terrible. Should have been there. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting that you say that because one of the reasons why I keep on coming back to nutrition is that the, the idea nutrition and gymnastics go hand in hand. And, you know, I um, actually, when I was training in that realm, I lived on lettuce and um, vinegar and um, apples for many years and literally scented my growth. So I've been speaking to a lot of the gymnastics places here. I can have that conversation a little differently because I kind of ran in that realm, but it's, it's a huge potential market because um, gymnasts and, and ballerinas and, you know, anybody that's in a, you have to be tiny and skinny place as a child athlete. It's definitely on the list of one of my passions as well as, um, children that are aging out of foster care mm. Wow. because wow. they don't get any help when they get out of, um, you know, once they get cut off, they literally get like a plastic bag with like a toothbrush in it and see ya. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's so sense. those those are really good opportunities to help children from nutritionally and economically at the same time because a lot of gymnasts you know contrary to popular belief they don't get training money and if you haven't got a rich family it's not a not a you know so it's a, there's a multiple opportunities there there's so many opportunities that isogenics is just silly I know we just got to sit there and write them out and think, you know bring them to mind you know I can't believe what is happening in the team right now that is so, um, you know, I know we, we think of how exciting the college is and everything like that, but I have a couple that came onto a call today that were, they were I, I used to own a hair salon and I did hair for like 34 years. Yeah, so me too. I own a hair salon too. Congratulations <laughs> for surviving it. <laughs> yeah, surviving it. And I loved it. I absolutely loved the art of it. That was my art form, but I, I didn't have the time to see my kids. You know, it was all day long and it was long hours and, and the more, you know, the better you are at it or the, you know, your business grows and then you can't say no. And it's like that where with this, we can at least choose the time that we work. But anyway, I think I forgot where I was going with it. Oh, my clients that started with me, that helped me start Isogenics in the salon. Cause I was, I didn't have time to go out anywhere else. It was just who was sitting in the chair, watched my transformation that happened in 30 days. And actually 28 days, I lost three dress sizes. And they wanted to know, well, today on a call, 
and they have been using the product every day for the whole 19, almost 19 years. I mean, in June it will be. And they, they look fantastic. I mean, there's their bodybuilders and they, they used to do all this unhealthy stuff like to, to cut just before a show, the natural bodybuilders. And they said, we've never, you know, this is the thing, but it was the collagen that brought them back to the table to build. It wasn't all the other things. They both have busy lives and, and good income. But now that they're thinking, what do I want to do for the second round of, you know, they're almost ready for retirement. This is so exciting. And I feel like I've got all my children coming home, you know, like these, these people that start out on our team, like they become our grandchildren and great grandchildren. And, and it just keeps this, this relationship keeps going. It's just beautiful. And I'm so thankful that Kathy and Jim had the foresight to see that it was time for us to have something huge, like a brand new shot of energy and that collagen did it. And then I hear that there's something else coming, you know, in July. So, but they don't want to rush it. They, you know, they, they want to do one thing at a time. They've been so wise all these years. So I really think you're smart to go back to your, I had a salon in Vermont as well at pair 12 hairdressers. They've all gotten an email from me. And one of my girls said to me, um, you know, but I always was the least best seller. And I said, great. Well, what salon are you in right now? And how many stylists are there? She said, 12. I said, well, go get your salon owner and get her on the phone with me. And yeah. we're going to put your salon owner under you. And mm -hmm. then we're going to get your salon owner to have a meeting. We're going to do a zoom and I'm going to educate the entire staff about how this can be a game changer for them and their kids. Yeah. And, and then now all those people have been out selling you, ta-da, you're making money off of them. Yeah. And when those hairdressers leave, you're still earning money off of them. Yeah, they go to <laughs> which, which, hello, I mean, like all hairdressers, massage therapists, personal trainers. I mean, I had people go to the salon across the street. It's the nature of the beast. You know what I mean? Sure. So I think it's excellent. Good for you. I, and I, it's what's cool about helping stylists is that they're always struggling, always mm -hmm. struggling. And usually they're, they're sing, a lot of them are single moms. And so there's nothing better you can that you can do to help people put food on the table for their kids and put their kids through school. So that's what, what I, 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 I what I love about the helping hairstylists is that they all have a, a built-in group of people that love them and trust them, or they wouldn't be going to them. And so, they know every single thing that's happening. So they know people getting married when they're getting divorced, when someone's husband left them, you know, they know all that stuff and all those changes are opportunities to introduce new products. So it is. It's just, it's huge. But now, and, and what's awesome about that salon owners, you don't have to be a hairdresser to go talk to your hairdresser or any other one, you know, just, just build a relationship and, and go talk to them and, you know, don't be afraid to know you guys all know that I'm, I'm so thrilled that we got to meet you because of Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stephanie. For Lisa, telling us. we didn't meet you. And then I, I think Heidi had a question, but okay. Hi, Lisa. Hey, I'm in Gilbert, Arizona, so okay, not, yeah. not too far from, from the corporate office. I've been with Isogenics for seven seven months now. You look super oh, oh, fantastic. Okay. Just seven months. And how yeah. did you hear about it? Pardon me? Was it from a friend or who told you about it? Yeah, someone that I'd known for actually a long time, uh, Terry Anderson. Um, yeah, just watching, watching her and decided, um, you know, in the midst of uh, the, pan the pandemic, I needed to get myself in, in line, get rid of the the pandemic bubble that was starting to happen around the middle. <laughs> um, and I wish too, it's like, it was great. Michelle was talking about, you know, being an athlete. I was a um, professional mountain bike racer for a while. And I sure wish I had known about this product back when I was racing, because it would have made just such a huge difference for sure. Whoa, that is, that's hardcore stuff. <laughs> Yeah. And I wasn't, I wasn't hardcore about my nutrition. <laughs> so it would have been, you know, and it would have been so simple to ha have this, particularly when I was traveling so much, but yeah. I'm grateful to have it now. And I can, you know, share that and pass that on to others. That's awesome. So you've got a big market there with all those people. You just have to figure out how to reach them. Huh? Right. Yeah, exactly. I guess stand out at the uh, trailhead. <laughs> if you want a three-way call sometime with somebody who's who would be really good for you? Bobby Matson's husband, Paul, would be excellent. I'll get that information over to Stephanie. Okay, awesome, thank you. Some really good uh, information that you could use that he uses. Oh yeah, yeah, I would love to hear it too because I'm still I'm still training. I'm training for my first half marathon uh, coming up in Yellowstone in June. So oh, wow. that's awesome. I love that area. I used to live up by there. Beautiful. Well, thank you for letting us on the call. Stephanie, Stephanie. we hijacked your call. I mean, didn't mention. Like, <laughs> we were supposed no. to be talking about reports. 
I, you know, but we, we had enough of reports. We're good now. And, and it was, it's just so important to create these bonds mm -hmm. and these relationships. And so I'm, I've, I've always thought so highly of both of you and, and everything that you do to make people feel special and you just did it again. And, you know, it, it makes us feel special, but it also shows us what we need to continue to do for mm -hmm. so many other people. So it's just that tiered effect of what it can do for someone to have that. I mean, you coming out and saying at Top Achievers on the dance floor or somewhere, I forgot where we were, but I know who you are with just such conviction of, I do belong there and I am supposed to be there. And that has kept me going for so many years. So it's important for us to feel it, but then pass it on. And, and that, so it was great for us to all be able to do this today and get to know each other. Why it just, you, you have really touched us. And thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank I, you. I want it for everybody, just like we all do. You know, our kids, they need this. Our, my, my daughter who didn't believe in any of this. She's like, I'm never going to do it. And I, I put her in at the beginning. She's, I said, honey, I need your social. She's like, why? I said, I'm just going to save you a spot. She says, mom, I'll never do this. And then she ended up being the company's 125th millionaire because five years down the road, who knows what's going to happen in their life. She had three kids by then. She didn't have the time to be an artist. And now she, she's raising three kids as a, you know, a sole income earner, teenage kids. Those are the things that we just don't know. If we hold back from telling people, as you all know, what might happen in their future. I didn't know what was gonna happen 19 years later. I didn't know I was gonna recruit my best friend into the business and then marry him either. <laughs> I mean, there's so many things that happen in this company that could happen, that wouldn't happen if we didn't open our mouth and talk about it. And so I'm gonna learn from all of you and I hope we get to meet again. We will, ho hopefully in, pers in person, right? We wow. actually have to go deliver some product for one of our downline in Dallas who knows somebody in Scottsdale. We have to leave to go do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go I, did you have a question? Oh, yeah. Did you have a question, Heidi? Um, no, she no? Okay. You guys are welcome to come back. We have a tribe time. This is called tribe time. And we do this every Tribal. Tuesday, 11 to 12 30 for the Phoenix time frame. And we used to meet virtually near headquarters, but with COVID we were able, then we brought it onto Zoom, which has opened us up all around the world. And so now we have all kinds of different people who would just really want to build their business and are, are in this for you know, long-term situations to come here to learn, to bond, to create, and to grow. And so, yeah, you're welcome to come every single week. This if is you like. cool. This is cool. And we should be doing that. Is, is this all in a uh, one lineage and one genealogy? It is one, team. it is one team. However, a lot stem from you guys and down. Yeah. <laughs> to be We're honest. <laughs> but but it's your team. Um, I mean, everybody on here is definitely, and and it, it was everyone that that you got to meet, except for Stephanie Blackbird. Um, awesome. Everybody on here is in your lineage, so well, a lot of it is. Sybil started it, um, so of course it's a lot of that. But we've opened it up to every every single person, whoever is able to join. This is a That's great wonderful. idea, guys. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, and Katrina. We didn't meet you. <laughs> Katrina just jumped on. Katrina, here I'm trying to unmute you, Katrina. Oh, maybe you need to do it. Hi, can you hear me now? Here we go. Yes. Okay, so we were just talking about hairstylists because Shauna used to be a hairstylist. Katrina oh. is a hairstylist and has been a part of Isogenics, is it seven years? Yeah, sounds about right, a while. Seven years, yeah. So we're, we're doing a, a Zoom um, to talk about how she can do this and, and get it out to the salon and her clients. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's wonderful. It's well, cool. it's, it's very nice to, to see you all. Stephanie, thanks for the invite. Yeah, we'll and, step and, off so that you can. Yeah, let you guys continue. Hope we and, didn't distract anybody, but. No, this great meeting y'all. This is thank great. You. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, yeah. thank you. Y'all take right. care. Wonderful. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Scott and Shauna.